All right, guys, Supercar Street Racing, welcome to the channel for a quick video about upgrading the firmware on the ID4 digital cluster for E92 cars. We are here at id4motion.shop and we go to support and then firmware. Looks like there was a new one released that I didn't even know about June 9th. And we're going to download that. It is downloading to the lower left hand corner and we're going to show it in folder. Now we have a USB stick already ready to go formatted fat 32 here. We're going to drop drop that guy right over to the stick. And then let's go to this PC and eject that guy. And the next step is out in the car. Let's grab our USB stick here and I'll meet you guys out in the car. All right, guys, we're out in the garage. Here is the E93. And if you guys remember properly, we have installed a USB stick adapter under here. I can find it somewhere. Right. Where'd it go? So right there. Where is it? Of course, now I can't find it and I put it in. So it's right here. And so we are going to stick that stick in. If I can see. Let me stop this and turn on some light. Okay, now we can actually see it. There's my little USB adapter that I installed into the dash. Putting the USB stick in there. And let's go up. And we'll start another clip here with the light off. All right, it's in the thing. I wasn't sure if you had to insert it when you actually have the car on. So I put it in first. Let's see what happens. All right, it's updating the software. on like going back to the old settings for my it's got a long extraction going down at the bottom as you can see that line moving from left to right so I was on 2.02.00 and it's installing 020202 which probably won't fix any of the issues because I still have battery drain, I still have issues with cruise control being off, and I still have issues with the fuel warning indicator coming on constantly when you get on low fuel, it turns off, and then it starts chiming again, and then it turns off, and then it starts chiming again, just over and over. So we're going to stop until this is done. I'll be back. This is now done. I don't know if it restarts by itself or what, it does, okay, cool. There goes the reboot. Yeah, the car is running terrible. Something's definitely wrong with it. It's going in the shop in a couple weeks, but you see how bad it's idling. Might be like a vacuum leak or something in there going on. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's how you update the firmware on the ID4 instrument cluster. Hope you guys enjoyed it.